This video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Hey everyone, my name's Lainey. If you're new to my channel, I don't know how to introduce myself, so hi. But if you're not new, hey, what's up, bestie? <laughs> How you been? Today, we are doing a really requested video and that's talking about closet essential or like capsule wardrobe for spring 2021. I've been getting a lot of questions about summer 2021 fashion, but I live in Chicago and it just hit 50 degrees today. So I'm not there yet guys. Let's take one season at a time. But I think I curated a really nice array of spring trends that I think are closet staples, honestly. I was kind of looking at these pieces and a lot of them are things that I was wearing last spring and even in the winter a little bit. And just because something is a trend or trendy doesn't mean it's new. You can still be trendy while wearing things that aren't new to this year. So I picked out 10 items, but I have some things where I can say like, if you don't like this, you can do that. But let's just get right into it. And the first thing I wrote down on my list is a blazer. So I know this could be too hot for some climates but, or too cold for the springtime but I can only get away with it if I layer something underneath. This blazer is from NAKD, it's in a size 36. It's an oversized, just camel colored blazer. Obviously, pick whatever color you want. I have a leather blazer and a black blazer, but in the springtime, I gravitate towards this camel nude color. So in right now, so trendy, and I feel so good and so confident every time I'm wearing it. I wore it here in an Instagram picture. I don't know, there's just something about wearing a power suit and you feel powerful, like who would've thought? So I couldn't recommend having a blazer enough. It's honestly just a perfect wardrobe essential and capsule wardrobe essential, I think, for years when people are creating capsule wardrobes, because that's not a new thing. People have been creating capsule wardrobes forever. A blazer is something that you always see in those like lists. So pick a fit that suits you, a color that suits you. But for me, I really like the oversized nude color and yeah. So going with the blazer, what I like to wear with it because I really do like the full pantsuit trend is a pair of trousers. So trousers, pantsuits, oversized like wide leg pants are my absolute favorite. They are so flattering and they're perfect for the spring and summer and winter because in the winter I'll wear like thermal leggings underneath to keep warm and then in the spring and summertime they're normally really light and flowy so they are breathable, you don't get too hot in them, they don't like suffocate you or sticky or anything like that, especially if they're cotton. So this pair is probably like my all time favorite. They're from NAKD, they're a nice tan color even though they don't directly match. This suit coat, I really like wearing them together. They didn't come together, but I don't think it matters. So this is a really easy trend to thrift. All my other blazers are thrifted and I have trousers that are thrifted. I'm actually wearing another pair of trousers right now. These are a slate gray color from Princess Polly. It's so easy to find blazers and trousers at thrift stores. So if you wanna save some money, definitely check out the thrift stores for any of these trends, but this one's easy to find there. The trouser I think is so easy to dress up or dress down. I'll wear this with a hoodie and a crew neck and they feel like you're wearing sweatpants. You have that more elevated look and then if you wear it with a blazer, it's a literal full suit and looks so trendy. And honestly, these are so timeless to me. These are an absolute must. I'm always wearing my trousers. They, they're my favorite pants to ever exist. The next thing is not as timeless, but when I would think of if I ever decided to have a capsule wardrobe, it wouldn't be just timeless pieces because for me, I like trendy pieces and I like switching up my fashion, my style. This is like an essential for spring 2021. It's a romper. I always liked rompers though. I don't think rompers have really, I mean, they've gone a little bit like out of style or out of favor and they come back in favor. And right now it's a different style than we've seen for a while. And that's this tight biker. I keep calling it a bike tart because for dance, like that's what it's called. And I think that's where the romper becomes more trendy for 2021 is having the tight 
romper. And I think these can look amazing on so many different body types, which I just love when trends are so universal. And this one is, I think they look amazing on ever, like everyone, honestly. I got this one off Princess Polly. They have them literally everywhere now. Pairing them with boots, tights underneath, sneakers, sandals, beautiful. So I really, really like this long sleeve style, but then also if it's warmer where you live, this is another great option. This is a terry cloth, like nude color romper, and it's got the zipper up front with a little collar. This is just so 70s and so is that other one. It's got that same style of being tight and fitted. This seems just like the perfect like bathing suit cover up too because it's that terry cloth material. I've seen these, this one's from Beginning Boutique, but I've seen them on Frankie's Bikinis too, but I'm sure if you just search terry cloth romper, you would find a ton. First of all, both of these are considered a full outfit, which like anytime having a capsule wardrobe or essentials in your closet, I love having these matching sets, dresses, rompers, because it's a full outfit already. How amazing is that? If you're watching this before going on vacation somewhere, first of all, be safe. This is like a full outfit already. You don't need to think like, what shirt would go with this? What pants would go with this? It's already an outfit. So I love these kind of things. But I know not everyone likes a romper, and I think that style is a lot more hit or miss than the old style of the romper where it's like tight on the waist and then looses out into like a dress kind of looking thing. So I wanted to give another option, and because I just thrifted this, you guys might think I'm crazy, but when you see it in the try-on, you'll get it. So if, I forget what Matilda Jerf's company is called, or I just don't know how to say it, probably the Ladder, releasing these cute little sets that almost look like pajamas and in my head they are pajamas but if you want a more looser look and you don't want something so revealing and tight as those rompers I think that this is a great option and can be styled so many different ways I'll have them on my channel so we can figure these out together but I got this for a dollar and 30 cents and it's literally an old man's <laughs> It's literally an old man's pajama set, so first of all, it's so soft because it's worn in. But it is a matching blue plaid button down. The little boxer shorts. It's so cute with like white tube socks and white sneakers. I think it's adorable. This is definitely more dressed down. I'm excited to like style this and have a little bit of a challenge because I think that these kind of plaid matching sets are going to be a big thing in spring and summer. They're just so light, airy, and even the like long sleeve button up and long sleeve pants, which is literally just like a plaid pajama set, is gonna be really cute as well. Um, we were kind of seeing them at the beginning of quarantine, the whole like silk pajama, but I think we're even gonna get into just like the plaid pajama set. Matilda Jerf is literally making it happen, and I'm here for it. So not until you try it, okay, people? Once you put on those matching sets and to see how easy and comfy it is like then another one which is just a full outfit is a midi dress and I did another video where I just talked about like capsule wardrobe in general I didn't make it towards summer or winter it was just like a capsule wardrobe and I showed a black bodycon midi dress that I wear all the time and I was gonna do that again but honestly I don't see that fit or as fit for spring 2021 like trend Kind of thing if that makes sense keeping that idea of the midi dress i think instead of opting for a black midi dress a bright colored midi dress would be more fit for spring 2021 look at these colors how amazing these are both from princess polly this one's new i just got it it's in this beautiful cobalt blue color and then i also have it in this tangerine orange these are just so easy to wear and Dress up, dress down, wear to the beach, wear out to dinner. Amazing, I love them so much. But this is a full outfit. Do you need all these? No, do I, apparently. But then if you don't like the bodycon dress, because sometimes I'm not in the mood to wear bodycon if I'm just not feeling it. I also have this little floral dress with more of a flowy skirt that I got from Urban Outfitters probably four years ago. And I think that like this piece is the epitome of what a capsule wardrobe is normally. <laughs> that this kind of dress really never goes out of style and sometimes it's more trendy than other times but I will probably never ever ever get rid of this dress just because it's so timeless but 
right now I think it's it's at its peak it's having a moment again so we love that let's talk about the button-up so this is again just going into that kind of menswear fashion I've talked about the button-up probably in all of my capsule wardrobes so if you haven't taken a hint you need a white button-up in your collection literally I thrifted this for probably 50 cents you can get it at the thrift store so easily they have so many it's so great to put over something if it's like hot outside but you just want to be a little more covered up or buttoning it up wearing it as a shirt tying it up wearing it as a shirt um, you can wear it as a dress if yours is long enough there's so many wear ways to wear these type of shirts. I love them so much. Underneath the blazer, it looks really cute. And then I'll show you something else you'd wear it underneath. But then, if you don't want the white one, or if you already have a white one, and you're looking to branch out a little bit, I think a plain blue pinstripe one is just so classic. Again, Matilda Jerf vibes. Like, these are so cute and so timeless and... They just look so classy but trendy right now and there's so many ways to wear it. I feel like I'm just talking in a circle about these because like they're perfect. I'm, I'm always wearing those in the summer. Can I stop like launching things at my door? This is something that I've been wearing kind of non-stop recently. After looking at my Vogue magazine, I realized that this was such a big deal in a lot of the runways which I don't know why it didn't stand out more to me because it's weird to be in the runways but that's baseball caps. This one's from Allo Yoga. It's like this really cute sweater material and I like that it's a draw, or not a drawstring, it's a that in the back. I'm obsessed with baseball caps. I think they're so cute and trendy right now. A baseball cap, it covers your face from the sun. And I've had a monstrosity of a pimple on my face the past couple days on my forehead. And I've just put my little, I can't know because my hair, but I put my little baseball cap on. First of all, nobody sees it. And also, I can't pick at it because it's hidden and covered from my daggers. This, that super preppy look of this menswear, baggy, blazers, button-ups, sweater vests, and then this, adorable. And I couldn't not say it, but I'm not going to talk about this for long because obviously any of these things I talked about would go with a pair of jeans. For spring 2021, you want to be trendy. I would say go for a looser denim. You could go for wide. You could go for high-waisted. You can go for low-waisted. All of them are trendy right now. Also, I think lighter denim is more on trend right now. This could be my personal opinion, but I'm just over the holes. I don't really like holy denim. So yeah, these are thrifted Tommy Hilfiger. I'm pretty sure I got them for like $3 from Goodwill. I think a closet essential for me now, forever and ever, is this metallic purse. I've talked about it a few times now, so I'm gonna give you a short rundown. This is from an Etsy shop called Versa Bags. They're located in Greece. They hand make all their bags with real leather and this bag is under 150 bucks. How inexpensive this is for the quality of a handmade bag. This is gonna last me my entire life. But I think having a bigger bag is more trendy for spring and summer 2021. This is like a timeless style, but we've got a trendy material with the metallic that's going on. I think like a fun bag is definitely a must. Okay, the next thing I wanted to talk about is again something that's been trending for a while now and that's okay. It's okay to wear trends for longer than when they're just like at their peak or when it's new and you're cool because you're before everyone else. Like just wear what you want to wear. So I know some people are already over sweater vests but I think that's just there's a difference of being over a trend because like you see it too much and you're like oh I'm just bored of it. I see it too much or just not liking a trend because it you genuinely don't think it fits with like your personal style or aesthetic or whatever and it irritates me when, pe when people only dislike a trend because it's popular. Get over yourself, come on. So with that rant, <laughs> the next thing is a sweater vest. Honestly, for me, they're just such a great piece in the springtime. Putting this over the button up or on its own as like a tank top, you can wear it underneath the blazer, any kind of thing like that. It's just so cute. It looks so good with the trousers, denim. If your button up's long enough to wear as a dress, even putting this on over it, it's all cute. I, I love the sweater vest. Like, I can't see myself giving it up for a while, honestly. This one is thrifted. It's originally from L.L. Bean. It's in a men's extra large. Okay, and then I just have two pairs of shoes for you guys. The first pair being platform boots. I feel like this is kind of extravagant, and 
I was thinking about it. I was like, is this like a, a winter trend and like it doesn't fit into the spring 2021 trends? But I really do think I'm gonna be wearing these platform boots with so many dresses. So I feel like they fit into the spring 2021 category. If we are allowed to go out in spring or summertime, these will definitely be my go-to shoes. They are such dancing disco shoes and that's all I wanna do is go dancing. And then lastly, my other pair of shoes. I was gonna say white sneakers because I always say white sneakers because they're just so timeless and, they're not timeless, they're just so trendy right now and have been for a few years. But these are the shoes I gravitate towards for everything. I, they are disgusting, you guys, because I wear them every single day. They look so good with trousers, with jeans, with dresses, with skirts, with whatever. I wear them with everything, boots, or what boots, shorts. They are the New Balance 530s. I got them off GOAT. I've never seen them anywhere else besides GOAT, so I'll have them linked down below. I'll have everything I can have linked down below, linked down below. Does that make sense? But yeah, if you are trying to limit yourself with shoes, I think having one really like extravagant pair and then one toned down pair. If these were washed, they'd look a lot better. Is a good rule of thumb. Also, those are just so comfortable that I can get away with wearing them all day, every day. I also just wanna show you guys these shoes that I'm wearing. My brother just got me dunks. How freaking cute are these? Thanks brother, thanks Jackson. That was his shout out. He owes me $5,000 now. Kidding. I wish but that's it for this video let me know what you guys think about my choices and what you would have in your spring 2021 closet essentials make sure to like comment and subscribe if you want to and i'll see you in a few days i love you the absolute most bye before this video ends, I want to say thank you again to our sponsor, Squarespace. The fact of Squarespace that I love and know all of you will appreciate is the ability to connect all your social media accounts. Our creativity comes from so many different medias now, it's important to have a place where they can all come together and be found with ease. Squarespace allows you to display posts from your social profiles on your website, automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels as your followers can share it too. An important backbone to any successful growth on the internet has to be analytics. Squarespace gains powerful insights about your site's visitors and how they interact with your content with the analytics tools. Learn more about your page views, traffic sources, time on site, most read content, audience geography, and more. If you've ever thought about curating an online portfolio or starting a social media presence, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Lainey Ozark to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Seriously, I can't recommend it enough. I've been using Squarespace for years. Definitely check them out.